Hi everyone, my name is Riley Meckley. I'm filming from home today as there was a slight difficulty in our recording with the video, so I'm just going to get started with what we talked about today. To start, we talked about our food drive. So next week, from December 7th until Thursday, you have the opportunity to bring items in for one point for each item. The, this food drive donates to the Meals on Wheels Foundation, which brings which gives the food, brings them to the people in need so they don't have to leave their house. These items include raisins, hot chocolate, crackers with peanut butter, oatmeal, applesauce, and canned soup. You can only bring those items as that, that is only what the Meals on Wheels Foundation requested for student government to donate. There will be a box outside the advisor's classrooms and you can just put the items in there and, and it'll, you'll get one point for each item. And if you're for members, please, please, please write your name on the items. Put it, put it in a plastic bag. Write your first and last name on it. Otherwise, we won't be able to give you credit, and we don't want that to happen. Okay, next up we have support a family. I posted about this a few days ago, so you can scroll back in the stream. There's a sign-up list on the dock, and it has gift cards, and you can sign up to buy one of those gift cards, bring to our meeting and then it will go to a family in need in our district. What happens with these gift cards is that we give them to the counseling center and the counselors there distribute it to families in need during this holiday season. So this is a very great cause to participate in. Not only do you earn points for student government, but you also help families in need, probably classmates, you know, everything, all the money that, you, all the gift cards you're donating goes to in district people. So, you know, it's just gonna help someone's holiday be better. It is two points for every five dollars you donate. So let's say you get a ten dollar gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. That'll be four points for you since you donated since you donated ten dollars. Also, feel free to team up with other people. If your friend is getting a gift card and you want to pay for half of it, you can do that too. Just when you turn it in, all gift cards must be in an envelope with your first and last name and the amount of money on it. So when you let's say uh, your friend goes to get a Target gift card for $20 and you split the price. You will each get four points because you each donated $10. So feel free to do that too. Again, just label it on the envelope. Envelopes will be collected at the meetings. You, If you can't make the meetings or you're virtual, please give it to a friend who comes to the meetings. You can stop in the meetings the first five minutes or give it to a board member at any point during the week. If you have any questions with how to hand in gift cards, you could talk to me, the board, or ask on the Google Classroom. We're here for you. Next is the Electric Light Parade. This will happen Friday, December 13th from 5 to 6.30. I want to say thank you for everyone who submitted the art designs. We chose two today, and the artists began working on them. So, great job to everyone. The board, everyone's artwork is really good. The board had a really tough time making a decision. So... For the electric light parade, it's not going to be like it is in usual years, where it comes from the library, it goes down Main Street. This year, because of the pandemic, everyone has to stay in their cars. So you can drive by the electric light parade, and student government is offering points. If you drive by and you take a selfie of you, you get two points. You don't even have to get out of your car. The selfie could be taken in the car. However, just make sure, do your best to get the school and the decorations in the shot and you DM that to the Word Melville Instagram account in order to get points. Um, moving on, Spirit Day. Spirit Day is tomorrow. As you are aware, the first Friday of every month we have a Spirit Day. Last, last month in November it was Color Day, and tomorrow, for December, it's gonna be Jersey Day. So this could be a professional jersey, a Ward Melville sports jersey, whatever it is, show your support and talk about it with your friends. Also, if you go to Instagram and you go to the Ward Melville High School account, if you repost the post about our Jersey Day, if you put that onto your story, we will give you one point. Please just tag the Ward Melville Student to Government account, though. Otherwise, it's too hard to keep track of, and we want to make sure you all get your points. Another thing I should bring up, apparel. I know we haven't really talked about this, but Ms. Chow, our advisor, is going to post the link this weekend. 
This year, we are very fortunate enough to have a lot of different apparel options. We have a long sleeve shirt, a t-shirt, a hoodie, a quarter zip, and of course a mask. So check the Google Classroom this weekend and you can see the link. It, I don't know exactly the due date, but it's sometime in January. So you have a bit of time, but you know, definitely ask your parents if you can buy it. Again, it's not mandatory to buy the apparel. However, it looks really cool, so I would definitely check it out. And we like to have all our members wearing them at the events. Um, oh, I want to say, so as you probably realized as I'm going through this, we have a ton of opportunities to get points in the next two weeks. However, let's just say for whatever reason you can't, these two weeks aren't good for you, you can always do a staff spotlight to make up the points. You can get eight points from doing two of them, and all that information is on Google Classroom if you need any help with that. And that's available at any time to get points. Um, our final thing on the agenda is the door decorating contest. I'm sure we've all, we've all been hearing the announcements about how Key Club's having their holiday door decorating contest. Student government is going to uh, basically do the same thing we did, but for Halloween. Jesse posted a, on Google Classroom, he posted a doc where you can sign up to decorate a door in holiday themes. So, you know, it's, it, this involves Christmas, Hanukkah, snowmen, winter, you know, anything festive to increase holiday spirit. And so if you want on the doc, just write your name and write what free periods you have. You don't have to stay after to do this. You can do it during your lunch, a study hall, anything. And you get three points for doing that as well. So And also, more information on that will be given next week when we have more details about who's interested in joining. Also, I want to go back to the food drive just for a second. We have a maximum of five points. So, as I mentioned, it's one point per item that you donate. However, the most points we can give you is five. Don't let that limit you from donating more. Again, it goes to a great cause. So, if you want to donate more, awesome. But the most we can give you is five points. And... This, this concludes our meeting. We have a ton of opportunities, a ton of things going on before, before the holiday break. So I think we all should be really excited about that. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to any, any of the, the members, uh, the board members, me, anyone. All right. Have a great day.